I'm going to show you how I created this uh, long tennis uh, pitch. However, there's also another thing I want to show you here. I created a rail here. Now, the rail is just like normal rail, but it's just that when you create rail in level 1, the base offset is going to be 0 by default. Thereby, let me change it to 0 so that you see what I'm saying. If it's 0, it will go down, you will not see it. So the only thing you need to do is just select it and change the base offset to 900 and apply so that it will come up. You know, the reason is that at this top, the top here is 1000. So it was hiding it. So that's just what I did there. Now the focal point on this topic is we want to create a, a canopy in front of this place. To create the canopy, now we are used to drawing our uh, we are used to drawing our mass object on top. So we can select a different face now to draw our mass object. What I'll do is that I'll move to let's move to the ground level for instance now now I want to draw my mass object on this side which I will use mass in place I'll make use of rectangle for instance now I'll start from this side draw it and then let me select a wireframe so that I'll be seeing it so my canopy will be will cover this area here then select it and click on create let's go to 3d view and see it so it has come up i'll select it i'll still raise it up this is not my canopy i only want to use the face for my canopy let's see the front elevation So now let's come to this side. Let's go to to the wireframe. So I don't want it to be too high, but it will be higher than the door. Let me take it up a little. If I like it like this, then I'll click on finish. And let's go back to home. Come to this side, change it to realistic so you see what I'm talking about. Now that I've succeeded in creating this uh, box. Now I want to use the face of this box to start drawing my canopy. If I want to do it, I'll come to massing and site, mass in place, and say okay. Now I'll set my work plane. Click on this set. Now select the face here as my work plane, such that if I want to do my drawing, I can use that place. Now let's change it to let's change the to front view now so I'll come let's still use a 2d wireframe I'll draw a rectangle that I want to use let's draw it here after drawing my rectangle I'll now let me select it so I can easily or freely work with it come here let it be the only one showing isolate element now I'll click on this use um, let me draw an arc that I want to use then draw another arc so let me select it and see Now I want to do it in such a way that I'll have my canopy well drawn. I can decide to use just this or just this. Let's select and see what happens. So I have this one. I select this one and see. Select this or select this. Okay. Now I've selected this one. Let me go to my 3D view reset to come to home you see my canopy now when I select it I'll create form 
so my form has been my object has been created for me let's change the view now that I'm done with this I can remove it I'm going to click on and drag it and say finish now the idea of using this box is done so I'll click on this object now now in this project environment I can easily drag from this side till it touches the wall then I can drag this side back drag it back so I've added my canopy the next thing to do is for me to just add leg to it so I'll go to I can go to either f ok let's go to level 1 and see I can't find it in level 1 let's go to site so I can see it here now let's let me see if I can work better here now now that I have it I'll draw my I'll go back to uh, mass this time around draw circle I'll come to this side and draw it to form my leg create and as as I'll select this one I already know the result then copy accept it select it copy it to this side then show in my 3d view uh, it's not showing so let's let's look for it if you cannot find it you can always see what you have drawn okay the height is so small select it drag it up so it's not a, it's not a big deal it's not a problem I'll do the same thing here drag it up now come to I think I should be able to see it better now so just to select it and drag it up so you can always achieve whatever you want in Revit so long as you know what you are doing I think this is okay so I've been able to create my canopy so folks my work is becoming beautiful the next thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how I created this uh, long tennis or volleyball court rather